Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to a new episode of Let's Play Skyrim again. For some reason, everything is blurry. I'm not sure why. But anyways, we'll just sneak on in here. Uh, warm up a bit. Uh, but anyways, welcome to a new episode of Let's Play Skyrim again. This time it will be episode 9. Uh, so in the last episode, if we look here, we traveled from Morthal up to Movarth's lair. Uh, past uh, the lair and up to Ustengrav, where we found the uh, and instead of finding the uh, Horn of Jurgen Windcaller like uh, we were supposed to, we instead found a note that said to uh, come on down to the Riverwood Sleeping Giant Inn and uh, ask for the attic room. So uh, that's what we're going to do. Uh, in between episodes, I decided. Uh, instead of marching on down here, I decided to just fast travel to Riverwood. I know that I said that I wouldn't try and fast travel a lot, but really, walking basically from Whiterun all the way up there took us, what, two episodes? So then walking back down would be another two episodes, so I, I just decided to fast travel. Uh, it would have been a waste of time to just walk all the way back. Uh, but anyways, we're back here with Arlif. Uh, and Lydia. Uh, we're in Riverwood. Obviously, obviously I still have those uh, Christmas Christmas lights installed. I'm going to keep them on there for a little bit. Uh, mainly because, you know, they, they look pretty sick. Alrighty, I'm completely warm. Uh, but anyways, uh, so for I hope you guys all had a Merry Christmas. Uh, or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa. Uh, anyways... Uh, so, uh, for Christmas, I got, uh, quite a lot of gifts, but uh, I'm only gonna discuss the ones that are gonna matter, uh, in the immediate, uh, future. Uh, so, first off, I got a, uh, computer monitor. Uh, if you didn't know, which you most likely didn't, uh, I actually used a TV, uh, as a computer monitor. Now, uh, the resolution on the TV was, uh, one uh one thousand three hundred sixty by six oh no sorry i'm I'm just gonna rephrase that uh the resolution was uh one three sixty by seven six eight p uh so that means that uh it w it was odd uh and things felt uh smaller and smudged together. Uh, so, I'm going to use War Thunder as an example. Uh, the War Thunder tanks kind of looked uh, a bit smudged together. They were more uh, thin, I guess. Uh, anyways, uh, so I got a computer monitor, and uh, it's at the uh, 1080p uh, resolution, which is always nice. Uh, so now, hopefully, that'll uh, improve some of the quality of my videos making them more graphically appealing to you guys. Uh, and the second, uh, I got quite a hefty sum uh, for a Steam card. So I decided to uh, go out and buy Fallout 4 for the holiday sale. Uh, it's, I'm pretty sure it's 13, 14% off. Uh, so I went and picked it up. It was $66.39, uh, obviously Canadian dollars. Uh, it'll probably be different in your currency. Uh, but it'll all, all equal to around 66 Canadian dollars, so that'll be uh, whatever euros, whatever pounds, whatever yen, uh, whatever currency you use, it'll be uh, at 13% off. Anyways, uh, so I haven't played Fallout 4 yet, but uh, I, I've decided to do this video before I start playing, because I imagine that if I start playing it, uh, a video might not come out today. So anyways, uh, so I wanted to get this done first. Uh, but anyways, we're here at the Sleeping Giant Inn in Riverwood. Uh, hello Lydia. And we're going in. I'm the innkeeper. It's my business to keep track of strangers. Attic room, eh? Well, we don't have an attic room, but you can have the one on the left. 
make yourself at home. All right, seems that there isn't an attic room. Anyways, guess we can sit down here. You know what? I always carry around this big bustling armor piece, so I can take off some of the uh, some of the stuff. I can take off the cape. Uh, you know. So you're the dragonborn. Oh. oh. So much about. Hello. I think you're looking for this. Are we going? Here's the horn. Follow me. Well, I'm going to sleep first. I didn't pay ten dollars for nothing. Uh, as you can see, uh, the background music has changed for the inn. I'm pretty sure it's added with the uh, People of Skyrim Ultimate Edition mod. I'm not sure though. I'm not sure what her name is, but uh, she's pretty famous for doing uh, songs about uh, the Elder Scrolls and such. Yes. Hello, Philem. He, this guy, is also uh, added with the uh, People of Skyrim mod. I want to close the door so I get out of the way. Uh, personally, I, th I think that I like uh, the traditional Skyrim. Uh, I, I like the uh, original Skyrim uh, tavern music better, like uh, the Bannered Mare uh, and the tavern, uh, different tavern music and such. Alright, oh, no, not you. I want to close the door. You have to be snakes. I mean, we're trying to be I snakes, guess? and then there's this buffoon in here. I'll just uh, take that off your hands. Give me a mug of ale. Mug of ale. Okay, what's what's the plan? The Greybeards seem to think you're the Dragonborn. I hope they're right. I hope so. But you'll forgive me if I don't assume that something's true just because the Greybeards say so. I just handed you the horn of Jurgen Windcaller. Does that make me Dragonborn too? No, it does not. It was the only way I could make sure it wasn't a Thalmor trap. I am not your enemy. I already gave you the horn. I'm actually trying to help you. I just need you to hear me out. Like I said in my note, I've heard that you might be Dragonborn. I'm part of a group that's been looking for you. Well, someone like you, for a very long time. If you really are Dragonborn, that is. Before I tell you any more, I need to make sure I can trust you. If you don't trust me, you were a fool to walk in here in the first place. We remember what most don't. That the Dragonborn is the ultimate dragon slayer. You are the only one that can kill a dragon permanently by devouring its soul. Can you do it? Can you devour a dragon's soul? Good. And you'll have a chance to prove it to me soon enough. Yes. We're very old enemies. And if my suspicions are correct, they might have something to do with the dragons returning. But that isn't important right now. What is important is that you might be Dragonborn. I knew the Greybeards would send you there if they thought you were Dragonborn. They're nothing if not predictable. When you showed up here, I knew you were the one the Greybeards sent, and not some Thalmor plant. Thalmor plant. Why are you looking for a Dragonborn? We remember what most don't. Ah, oh, yeah, we Only already did that. Kill a dragon. yeah. Dragons aren't just coming back. They're coming back to life. They weren't gone somewhere for all these years. They were dead. Killed Oops. off centuries ago by my predecessors. Now something's happening to bring them back to life. And I need you to help me stop it. I know they are. I visited their ancient burial mounds and found them empty. And I figured out where the next one will come back to life. We're going to go there, and you're going to kill that dragon. If we succeed, 
I'll tell you anything you want to know. Pines Grove. There's an ancient dragon burial near there. If we can get there before it happens, maybe we'll learn how to start it. I need to get into my traveling gear. Give me a minute and I'll be ready. The traveling gear of Delphine. King Aitz. What is this about? I guess I'll take that. Even though I don't really read the books, it's, it's always nice to, uh, sometimes just to read them. Yes? You learn a lot about the stuff. Hello, everyone. Fill him. And what might you need? <laughs> What might you need? Ooh, it's uh, nice and uh, nice and sick, pretty sick. It's always glorious seeing the uh, uh, the scenery of Skyrim. Just looking up at all the mountains and trees, especially with these uh, Christmas lights in them. Uh, anyways, where are we off to? Where did Lydia go? Delphine is here. There she is. She she just ran off. Pines Grove is this way. We can travel together or split up and meet there. Your choice. Do you need something? Okay. Let's get Let's going. Go. I guess I can put on my cape back on now. I'll put that on. Thank you very much. That'll give me some nice uh some nice where are you going? Kind's Grove is this way. Oh, hello, sir. Are you an Imperial person? Need something? Well, hello. Oh, hello. It's like some Empire or Napoleon Total War spy stuff. The the only line of dialogue that the spies have in that game is oh, hello. That's ev that's the only line they say to you. Anyways, I don't know what she's doing. Over there, but we're gonna march on down. We're actually gonna investigate what, whatever this is. Uh, this is added with the. Uh, oh, I didn't see that there either. Uh, both of these things and that were added by the uh, people of Skyrim mod. It, like, like I said uh, in the last episode, just adds like these random dwarven uh, Nordic ruins uh, places. Like uh, this one here, a little camp run by uh, Olsen, Smiling yes. Hand. He smiles with his hands. Anyways. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. It looks like some sort of... Yeah, this is that, uh, yeah, the wheat mill. This actually kind of reminds me of... Uh, the barracks at a uh, Fort York in Toronto, Ontario. Uh, this building because it had the uh, the roof went out uh, from the uh, first floor, uh, you know. And uh, what what actually happened with that uh, in the War of eighteen twelve uh, with those types of buildings? Uh, they they would just go ah, ah, and trying to break down this door. And the people up there could, uh, like, throw stuff down at them and even shoot them with their muskets. It's, uh, pretty sick. Actually, uh, I don't know where Delphine or Lydia went, so we're gonna venture inside. Yes? Soul legs, hello. I mean, it looks glorious on the outside, but, uh, on the inside it doesn't look too good. All visitors are welcome to see the mill in action. Uh, okay... Just telling us about the stuff. Certainly looks a lot pre pretty sick. Now who's gonna go out this door? A little dwarf or some snake around there. Hello, is this the owner? I don't know. Quite uh, quite the nice room here. You even have like a pet dragon. 
Or, well, not a pet dragon, but like a dragon toy. Pretty sick. Anyways, let's uh, get back on task. We'll uh, be witches and fly around on this. Clean up now. Well, how do I get out of here? Uh, oh. Here we go. Okay, Delphine, you better be out here waiting for me. Okay, we don't need to do the Horn of Jurgen Windcaller just yet. Uh, we are going off to Kynesgrove. So, uh, hopefully by the end of this episode we'll be up around the Ritual Stone, possibly even Valheim Towers. And then we'll travel on down here uh, to the left of, well I guess to the north west of Fort Amel. And snake on down this way. The uh, Kynesgrove is a uh, pretty pretty nice little uh, village. It only has a, like 10, 7 to 10 people at max. Uh, like only a couple buildings. It does have an inn, uh, and I'm pretty sure a couple tents, and maybe even one house, one or two houses. I'm not sure. It's been a while since I've snaked around there. Anyways. So, uh, while we're traveling, uh, I just wanted to apologize. I guess we're gonna have to stop here for a second. Okay, never mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but uh, sorry for not uploading a video uh, on the 24th and the 26th. Uh, I was actually quite busy those days, uh, whether it be shopping or visiting uh, and such. Uh, I, uh, on the 26th, uh, which was yesterday, or Boxing Day. This guy is repairing stuff. Uh, anyways, uh, on that day I was... Uh, I actually watched uh, Star Wars The Force Awakens, and it's glorious. That, that movie is glorious. It, it's better than the prequels, certainly. Uh, I mean, the, the characters, you know, you learn to, a bit about them, and you learn to uh, like them, and... Uh, kind of build attachments to them uh, in a way that, you know, you, you kind of could in the prequels, but I mean, uh, like in the original twil trilogy, uh, episodes 4, 5, and 6, you know, you really got to know who the main character was, the protagonist, and that was uh, Luke Skywalker. But then uh, the prequels, you know, you didn't really know what was going on because the main protagonist in the movie didn't show up until like halfway through. But uh, y you certainly got to uh, learn about the characters, you know, you learned their names, uh, some stuff about them. Uh, it, it was it was pretty cool. Uh, yeah. Anyways, enough about. Uh, movie reviews uh, so I'm actually not sure what to talk about uh, on our journey here there isn't exactly a lot to talk about uh, well I guess I'll talk about uh, the future of this series uh, so what I'm hoping to do is uh, go and do this quest and then uh uh, do whatever's down there at Kynesgrove, and between episodes, go up and do the High Hrothgar, finish uh, the Horn of Jurgen Windcaller. Uh, so that me that would mean that I would have Fusroda fully completed, uh, and then from there, I do like the guild quest line, uh, like companion sleeves guilds, uh, etc. Uh, those quest lines, or possibly the Civil War quest line. Because I do have a mod installed, uh, the Civil War Overhaul, uh, hopefully it works. Uh, I haven't done any testing uh, yet, but uh, it's supposed to uh, overhaul the uh, Civil War. So instead of just going off to a fort, battling, and then 
taking it over, it actually adds a lot more uh, immersion. Because you're not fighting over forts, you're fighting over the cities. Uh, and, you know, randomly out of nowhere, Falkreath can be attacked randomly. Uh, you know, let's say, you know, you... I'm going to use an example. Uh, you know, let's say the uh, Imperials, they take Dawnstar. Uh, and then randomly, you know, like a week later, the Imper the, the Stormcloaks come back and try and attack it. That's uh, kind of what the Civil War overhaul adds. It uh, adds a lot more immersion and diver diversity instead of just going off into a fort, attacking it. You know, have a little small battle, then you're done. The only intense stuff that I found with the vanilla Civil War quest line was the um, was the sieges of Whiterun and uh, either Solitude or Windhelm. Uh, I've never participated in the uh, siege of Solitude because I'm not a Stormcloak a traitor like you folks. Uh, just kidding. Uh, Stormcloaks and Imperials both have their cause uh, to fight. Uh, so we're going to want to head down this way. Uh, anyways, so here we are at this little settlement. Uh, got a nice guy there. Got uh, need something. Jurgen, hmm? Jurgen Windcaller, my boy. Is that is that the same spelling? <gasps> oh no, it's not. I yep. think Jurgen has an E. Yeah, so close. We could have actually met Jurgen. Anyways, so uh, I'm not sure what guild quest line to do. I think I might do the Thieves Guild questline because mainly uh, on my console character, that's the one that I've been playing, that I've played the most out of uh, PC and Xbox 360. Uh, I I've actually finished the Thieves Guild questline, but for some reason there was like a bug or a glitch, or actually haven't fully completed it yet. But uh, I've completed all of the main quests. For the Thieves Guild, and for some reason I uh, can't become the leader yet. What's I don't know why. Like you doing out here? Go home. Uh, we'll just leave her to talk. Uh, anyway, so I, I think we'll do the Thieves Guild uh, because the uh, the companions and the Mages Guild. I find them uh, to go by real quick. You know, zero to one hundred, very quick. Uh, so it's either the uh, Dark Brotherhood or the uh, Thieves Guild. I'm not sure yet. Uh, if you uh, want to leave your suggestion for a what quest line to do uh, out of the guilds or the Civil War, uh, leave a comment below uh, what what you would want me to do. Because uh, I want I also want you guys to get interacted with uh, the stuff in here. You know, uh, don't let it all be about me and I choose what to do. I want you guys to have a, a say in what to do as well. Because overall, uh, in the end, like, you know, I'm the one making the videos, but you guys are the ones viewing it. Uh, and, you know, you don't want to be viewing a thing where I'm doing something boring. Uh, because you'll just click away. So I want to do what you guys want uh, me to do. Instead of just me choosing uh, so anyways, le leave a comment if you want uh, on what you guys think I should do uh, for the quest line. Once again, uh, there's, uh, what is it, four choices, or actually five choices, I guess. Uh, it's either the Civil War, the Companions, the Thieves Guild, Dark Brotherhood, or Mages Guild. Uh, and if you guys want, even uh, I can... Uh, if you want to, if you want me to do the Civil War quest line, uh, leave a comment which side. Uh, I'm favoring the Imperials. Oh, hello, no, thank you. I'm uh, favoring the Imperial side. Uh, so if I don't get any uh, comments or anything about the Civil War, then I'll most likely choose the Imperials. But if you guys want to see me do uh, the Stormcloaks, uh, those Stormcloak traders, uh, then I'll. Uh, 
do that. Because I actually haven't played through the uh, Stormcloak quests yet. I've only done uh, the Imperials. Got some wolves up here. Some wolven scum. Come on down. Whoa! Sniped, sniped, sniped. Triple kill. Uh, speaking of uh, the announcer of battles, uh, I also got uh, Hell 5 Guardians for the Xbox One. I've only played a little bit of it, though. Uh, I've played the first campaign mission and a uh, half of the second. Uh, and I've also played a, a bit of the multiplayer in the Forge mode. Uh, overall, you know, it's it's the classic Halo mixed with uh, the modern day game mechanics of uh, okay, aiming down no the sights and such. Uh, I guess we'll sneak on down this way. Oh, there's Kind Scorf right there. Uh, we, we might have to cross this river. I'm pretty sure it's the White River that we're uh, crossing here. Uh, this will rip, rip my uh, frost fall apart here. Yeah, I know, I know. We have to get on down to some sort of thingy. A fire or something. Just pull out my mixtape and we're good. Kinds Grove people, help. I'm gonna end the episode off in a little bit. Oh, and a snowstorm is coming too. Um, you don't want to go up there. A dragon. It's attacking. Well, I don't know. Not yet. It flew over the town and landed on the old dragon mound. I don't know what it's doing up there, but I'm not waiting around to find out. Yeah, yeah, I'm busy right now. The battle can rage on in the background for a couple more minutes while I uh, cozy on up in here. Oof. Alrighty, so... That is the end of episode 9 for today, folks. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, next episode will be me brawling some dragons up there uh, in the uh, Kynes Grove Dragon Ruins. Uh, anyways, thanks guys for watching this episode of Let's Play Skyrim again. Uh, if you saw any mod that uh, spiked your interest, uh, it will be down in the description below. Thanks guys for watching. I will see you on the next episode.